All right, thank you, Tony. Weeks after serious damage was done to a local school, we've learned it will open soon. And you may remember the photo we showed you just a few weeks ago taken inside Edgewood Highland Elementary School in Cranston. A huge mess after some serious water damage. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lusciuto joins us now live in studio with the new developments. Sheena? Mike, the new year came with surprises for the Edgewood Highland School community. For the last month, students have been going to a different location. The kids are currently on their February break. The next time they're back in class, it will be back at their normal building. Are you excited to go back to Edgewood? Yes. Cranston school officials bring good news to parents, teachers, and students. Yeah. As of Monday, February 26th, Edgewood Highland Elementary School will reopen as usual. I'm pretty amazed given the level of destruction they had in the building. A water main burst back in January, flooding the building and forcing students to evacuate. This picture is just one look at the aftermath. And when I saw the damage, it was a little heartbreaking. During cleanup, classes moved over to Norwood Avenue School. The minor inconveniences the parents had to go through was really nothing compared to what our teachers were going through. <laughs> I think you're getting nervous. <laughs> Rebecca Biondi says her children can't wait to get back into the familiar space. As a mom, staying in contact with staff members has made this process a little less stressful. Some of the parents are worried about mold and because we're coming back so soon, but they've had air quality tests performed inside the school that made me feel so much better and we're so excited to go back. Now the school community hoping to rebuild classrooms. Members of the PTO tell me a spring fundraiser is in the works. We're so happy to have been able to stick together through this whole thing. I think that's really been a gift for the kids. Now the preschool class is still moved to road school for the rest of the year as originally planned. That classroom is located on the first floor and was hit with the most water damage. Reporting live in studio, I'm Sheena Lusciuto, Eyewitness News.